Yeah, hi guys, here's the Steve from Shanghai. Mm, today, I actually work on something <clears throat> what I just figured out from the logic portal. So today I just uh, adjusted the nodes for CompUI. They're called Met Anyone. Met Anyone actually is a node that works like, you know, <clears throat> it's a stable video matting with consistent memory propagation. So what that means is you use the first frame of your clip, you have a mat for that first frame. How do you create it? It's up to you. What I'm gonna do, I, I will show you very soon. And uh, then it will propagate the mat with all that fine grain details over time in the video, right? So what I did is today I added, you know, the normal, what to say, the normal way it works is a CUDA for NVIDIA cards, but I'm on Apple Silicon. So I just added MPS support, you know, in the utils and in the Met anyone node. So before it was just CUDA, as you see, and I added NPS. So that's fine. Cool. I don't need that anymore. Just have a look at um, this workflow. Don't be scared. It's super easy. This is the same video, but what I want to do is because I'm lazy as fuck. I don't want to create a mat by hand. I just create a mat, you know, with my InspireNet RMB. Uh, remove the background so what i'm gonna do right now is here this one i make i mute that okay as you see i mute everything now i just want to create a mat now this one gonna be my mat from an input video and what i have normally there are 192 frames as i see so i just want to have the first frame because it's the first frame of the clip what i'm gonna use and I just want to create a preview of that. Wow, okay, that's preview of the image, but I want to have a preview of, um, of the mask, right? So I copy the preview image and say, okay, give me this one. I want to have the mat, you know, this mat input, this one. I want to see, okay, this is already masked out. And here I want to see the mat. Okay, let's just let's run it one more time. So now we have a super fine detailed mat. So I can use whatever video I like. Maybe I upload another one. Just figure it out. Whatever I have here. Now that's all myself. I don't really like that. Maybe I go to Coffee UI. Uh, custom notes, mat, anyone. Must be somewhere here, mat, anyone example there are some test samples inside this one yeah okay open this let's open this ich freue mich. yeah and here also open the same because this this is the same video but you know this generates only the first frame so this actually is nothing i just want to see okay how my inspire net works here on that wow looks pretty darn good Right now I unmute this, okay? Unmute, unmute, unmute. And I don't even know, okay, this is mad and this is uh, whatever. There is no audio in that video, as I see. Just rock and roll, let's run it. Just let's run it. And uh, then we go on the output as soon as we are done. Cheers. Coffee, morning coffee in Shanghai. So that's pretty cool. I mean, actually it's pretty fast. You know, you don't need to care about, <clears throat> about the resolution or anything because the torch size will adapt automatically. Anyway, from 4K HD on Apple Silicon, if you have enough RAM, I mean VRAM, or combined RAM. 
don't be scared, it's cool. So as we see on the progress, it's walking through that video. Here and I will center it a little bit. Then I go to my output and just wait what happened. There's some mat I uh, created before just to play around. So I, I have no idea how it looks. I just created automatically a mat for the first frame and then I used that mat over time propagation with Matt Anyone node. So right now, as we see, the videos I've written, let's have, a, let's have a look. So I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Look at this. Okay, I don't like that. I don't need the green screen. It, it's just a second output. Okay, guys. So that's it. Actually, I'm you know I'm gonna implement this into my EXR round trip for Autodesk Flame. And uh, yeah, I think today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, I can put that in, and then I will update on Saturday. We'll update the packages on my Patreon site. Okay, cool. Super cool, super awesome cool. So I will figure out uh, how it works with, you know, how much RAM it eats up, you know, over time. So maybe I can use uh, some of my other nodes, you know, those, uh, how to say, sequential work nodes. That means we can save uh, VRAM over time. So actually, you know, the goal is to make 20 second or 50 second of an input clip automatically generate a mask you can use that's it okay guys see you later bye bye